We are live. Hmm. It's finally working. God damn. I'm sorry. Gosh damn. Um, I want to take a break from evil Rachel Weird and um, go a little bit on Esme Bianco, which i done videos on her over and over. But um, I have more lights now and I'm more awake. That sound is my heater because I'm fucking freezing. Guess I'm a wimp. Um, it's not that cold. I'm just cold. Um, and I will make a video, like a regular video later, maybe tomorrow. But I thought it seems like my internet is working fine. So I thought just coming live and chatting a little bit. Okay, so we know what Esme Bianco did. She waited a week on February 2021 around Valentine's Day and named Manson on Instagram, of course, because that's what she did. Not going to the cops, not going to the authorities, or even a counselor. She just went on Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot, and did exactly the same thing that Evan did. And then that followed a train of Ashley Morgan, Ashley Walters, Chloe Black, and a bunch of other people, Phoebe Bridges. It, it, it was just crazy. So it's almost been a year. It's been 11 months in this bullshit. So I feel like it needs to be revised once in a while, even if Evan Rachel Weird is so much fun for me to talk about her because she's completely cuckoo's best shit bananas. Um, but the case with Esme Bianco is curious because I thought she was doing it for money and then I realized and then I realized that um she might just have you know some type of vendetta against him um and it's not a coincidence that this whole thing started right after Manson married love of his life let's say Lindsay right the person who he's been on and off but especially on for the last nine years or so so it's not a coincidence they all freaking went crazy and started naming him. I don't think that they were planning to name him until they start doing the emails with Ilma Gore that she sent to everybody and start recruiting people. We know the story, right? Long story short, that's what happened. It seems like Ilma Gore, big, proud um, person who was just opening Gold Found Me and just a bunch of websites to just get money out of people, she sent the email. We all know the story. And um, the email was pretty much like, let's just get together. If you ever slept with Manuel Manson or hooked up with him or were his girlfriend. And some people reply, no, thanks. And some of them say, yes, and just let's do this little coven, you know, conspiracy against him and just totally cancel the guy just because we're jealous. We want money. We want publicity. There's so many reasons. I think in the case of Evan, She's completely obsessed with him. Um, so I don't think it's about money with Evan. With Esme Bianco and Ashley Morgan, Ashley Walters, it might just be about money and also about publicity because Esme has no job after Game of Thrones that her character got killed. I stopped watching the show. Um, I actually like the show. I stopped watching it because I just didn't want to give my that show any type of support. I'm just really mad at her or any other women that is jumping on the train to just cancel an innocent man, you know, and just steal his livelihood, and he's just, go, it's, it's, it's just disgusting. So I want to revise her. Hi. Who's watching? Tammy, are you there? Is it Tammy? I just feel like I'm in life because, I mean, it's a good light and whatnot. <laughs> um, so, of course, I have the file in here. Um, it's about, she filed this about nine months ago. It is old news, but it's always kind of good to just, you know, refresh our memory from all the BS. And um, let's keep in mind that Esme Bianco, um, differently than the other ones, she's trying to keep in mind that it's not a criminal suit. It's a, it's a, it's a civil, okay? Civil lawsuit, not criminal. Big, big, big difference. Not only that, but she, um, on, her, on her file, she included Kula Management, which is the, the Manson management that dropped him right away. So she included them. And uh, she also talks about 
people witnessing this abuse and assistant of Marilyn Manson witnessing this abuse. So I think, you know, um, just my gut feeling and whatever, all the other calculations, makes me think that she's talking about Ashley Walters. So by her saying that the management was a witness and an accomplice of Manson alleged abuse, and also he's... Um, at the time, his assistant at the time, that's Ashley Walters, which it is one of her friend's best buddies, as me and Ashley are like this. So it's really curious for her to even include her own friend and just throw her under the bus. I always thought that was weird, and I haven't seen anybody talking about that detail. So I thought I would just touch on it. Sorry, I got my tea, because I'm still kind of sick. I mean, I don't want to talk about myself too much, but this COVID BS has been, it's real. Don't get me, don't, don't give me the whole bullshit that is fake because I got it, I got sick. It was just vicious, bad. So I'm still, my throat still hurts, but I'm trying to kind of like feel better, look better, get some rest. So I think I'm better now than I was a month ago. And that's kind of why I came back. Also, because I was really torn off and really upset at Amy Rachel Wood. New documentary that he's, she's just like just gonna drop on Sundance, which is not a good place to show the documentary. Considering that that was the place with Harvey Weinstein, which I do think that he's guilty, did his whole, that was his playground. So for her to drop the documentary there in the same festival, it's kind of strange. Uh, whatever, and pretty much the documentary is going to be all pro Evan and pro Coven of all the, the ladies, the chicks, women, if you can call them, call them that. Um, and it's very curious because she her documentary was just about her life in the beginning and about um, her public persona and about her her um, all her stuff about the Phoenix Act and about all her activism. Um, you know, getting awards from being bisexual and her single parent and all that. That's how the documentary was going to be like. Lily is behind my screen. But then it seems like she added a part two to it and it's about Manson. And like seriously, you know, it, it is not going to be journalism. It's not going to be like the free Britney documentaries. It's not going to be kind of both sides. It's going to be all about her and kind of blowing her own horn. So just so mad at the whole thing and people giving, people are gonna just get, give him way more attention than they've been giving her from Instagram and Twitter. There's it's gonna be a documentary on how much of a monster he is. And that is just gross. This whole thing, she's just bash it crazy, but this whole thing, now she's gonna bank on that because I guess Westworld is not doing that well, I don't know. So that's like this, this couple of reasons why I just I came here to talk about this. First, Evan wrote the Richard Weir, Evan Richard Weir documentary, which is just a bunch of crap, completely just, I, I, I mean, that is not, I won't even call it a documentary. A documentary, you know, it just should be non-biased and it should be just, you know, give you the both sides to the story and a little bit of research. She's not doing that. She's doing a documentary about herself and about the abuse that she endured the alleged abuse. So, um, of course, I'm not going to give it the time of the day and I'm not going to watch it at the same time. I would like to watch it when it came out just so I can criticize it and I can just have an idea without just sitting here and just saying it's horrible, which is going to be horrible. But I am curious about how she's going to go about it. And she's going to mention us, um, the fans and supporters, because she already said that we are a bunch of pedophiles, Nazis, and Satanists. She said that about people like me, us. Um, pedophiles, Nazis, and Satanists. If I was one of those things, or if, um, I mean, I won't say it, <laughs> but I'm not one any of those things. And it's so disgusting and so disturbing that then she's like, um, going so low as to insult the fans. There's no need it. If she had the truth on her side, she wouldn't have to, she wouldn't need to do all that circus. And, but anyway, so that's it about um, Evan Rachel Weir. Evil, Ra evil, evil Rachel Wood. Let's just call her evil Rachel Wood. 
kids that didn't deserve the word evil. Who's watching? Hi. Is this working, this live thing? Because um, at the middle of the, of the month, which is today, kind of, um, after the 15th of the month, I get more data. So I can probably, I can just do this without so much trouble. The problem the last couple of times is that I say a couple of words. Actually, I just said the word, the N word, um, N A Z E. I said that word and I got caught right away and the whole live dropped. <laughs> so I'm going to try to just not say the word. Um, it's not necessary to say it, but sometimes it just looks, just, you know, because she called us that. She called N pedophiles and Satanists. I don't think my life that dropped from the word Satanist, but I think the other word was the problem. So, um, you know, I find it kind of curious that there's YouTube channels here with girls showing bondage and showing how to tie, how to rope and tie your, your, uh, yourself or your partner and just stupid shit like that. But I can't say certain words. It's funny. It's very silly. So it's me about 11 months ago or 10, 10 months ago. She went on Instagram and Twitter, um, naming him. And also she filed a whole thing in LA, in LA court in California. That it goes kind of like this. Okay. It's a big, it's like a 36 items. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the jigs of it is, uh, first of all, she accused him of, we know, I can't say this word either, sexual human the, it starts with a T, you know, where you get people from country to country to work for you illegally. Okay. She accused him of that. Um, unpaid labor, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. And also she accused him of something that the other ones have, haven't done that or, or even mentioned it, which is the fact that um, she says, she allegedly says that he brought her from England of the pretense of some type of fake job, fake acting job, which we know is bullshit, but this is what she puts on the on the on the file. And the thing with that is like that's the one that is gonna be super easy to debunk and show from him that it's not true because there's probably emails from Esme to Manson and vice versa talking about the job and her excited about coming to LA. So there's no way that she can prove that she was trafficked. Uh, or labor in an unpaid way. The unpaid labor she talked about before is pretty much she lived with him in the apartment, the apartment about the liquor store, that famous apartment in West Hollywood, and was doing certain chores in the house, which I think is normal when you live with a guy or with a girl. You know, you pick up, you do laundry, you make some mac and cheese, coffee. I don't know what the fuck she was making, but she said that was unpaid labor. Okay, so that's ridiculous. Then the sexual abuse and emotional abuse and physical abuse and verbal abuse is going to be something that is harder to prove because she can say, all oh, this happened to me and just they'll believe her because she's a woman. But um, it's going to be she said, he said. Eventually, he's going to go to court. I am thinking, my gut feeling is telling me that maybe it's going to be 20, like middle or the end of 2022. As much as I want this to be ended right away, you got to be realistic. Look what Johnny Depp is going through with Amber Heard. It started years ago and they're still going through it. And it's just, this is going to be even, the Manson thing is going to be even worse because the public perception of Manson is way worse. The public perception of Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp, but like, seriously, um, Manson is completely, I feel like Manson is completely canceled. And it just sucks. Um... Because, and I don't want people to give me this whole, well, he's rich. What does he care? He doesn't need to work. He doesn't need to put an album ever again. He's rich. Well, let me tell you, if somebody takes away your passion and what you do for a living, which it doesn't have to be art. It can be like, you can be an engineer, you know, it can be whatever. And somebody takes that away from you, it doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank. You still be pissed off because somebody took that away from you. So... Um, I, I don't want to hear how he doesn't have just like the Britney Spears thing. Oh, she's a white rich girl complaining. Yes, 
okay? Um, the same thing with him. Somebody takes your livelihood and your passion away from you. He has all the rights on any of us to complain about it and show you how unfair it is. Just because he has money doesn't mean that he doesn't want to make a record ever again. And when he does, it's going to be the best record fucking ever, right? I think um, because he sold his house in West Hollywood, and this is not just me saying it, it's up there. You can Google it. Um, he sold it only to $2 million. That is nothing um, price-wise here, you know, especially for a little mansion up on the hill. So I feel like he sold it on, on a rush, really, because he either wanted to get the hell out of here and go move to Berlin anytime, anywhere in Berlin, in, in, in Germany or any country like that, because he always said in interviews, all the interviews, you can, you can find him saying that eventually he wants to live out of the country. He feels more appreciated in Europe than here. So I always had the feeling that he was going to take off, kind of like Johnny Depp did. So I think that's why he sold the house. Also, it's pretty messed up that the minute he sold the house and he went into his honeymoon or something like that with his wife, set up a honeymoon trip, the cops went in there and raided his house and started looking at his computer. So the whole thing is just pretty, it turned from like some type of conspiracy theory of us on YouTube, you know, um, criticizing these ladies to something that is happening to him that is actually, you know, messing with his... Um, his life and his job as beyond us saying he's innocent. This is beyond, especially when she called all of us names and says they were a bunch of pedophiles and Satanists. Um, so Esme goes something like this, okay? Remember it's a civil, not criminal, which is something that we can all do. You know, like you don't pay rent, your landlord is suing you because you don't pay rent as a civil, okay? This is a civil case. It's very silly. And if it was a criminal case, I won't be able to just find it on the internet like I did. A lot of us have it. It's only takes it for you to go to lacourt.com.org and pay a fee. It's about $4 each page. So this is about like 45 bucks, something like that. And get the paperwork because it's a civil case. So um, anybody can get the paperwork. Um, it's doesn't have to don't have to put a link or anything because you can get it yourself we even i even got the date i figured out the date that they're gonna go um next which it is going to be 20th of may in la courthouse in the valley i get the address in a minute and that's going to be against chloe black which is the jane famous jane doe which i i say that it was chloe black nine months ago and end up being her <laughs> So that's gonna be a court a court date that I don't think Manson is gonna show up, and I don't even think Chloe Black is gonna show up because now with COVID, everybody's doing everything online, or maybe one or two people are showing up in court. Because they don't want people in court. They don't want a bunch of people in court. It's kind of what happened with Britney and stuff. So that's about to happen eventually. On that case, I can make a video about Chloe Black later. The problem is the judge kind of gave her the green light. Um, I don't believe a word she says, okay? But the judge gave her the green light to prove, okay, prove why you don't remember, you know, nine years or 10 years later, what happened for you to, you know, what happened to you that you lose your memory and what happened to you that you recover your memory now? That's pretty much what the judge is asking from Chloe Black. It's like, okay, if you're going to use the statute of limitations and you're going to use the whole Phoenix Act thing and the new thing, um, then you have to show to us, like, if you had a brain injury, seizures, if you have some type of, uh, if you're taking some type of medication that makes you lose your memory, um, she, or any of those people are going to have to show why they don't remember. Um, so I think that is a good one on our side. Then none of these people, none of these ladies are going to be able to show why they don't remember the stuff they say they don't remember. Which is completely ridiculous because if you watch the videos of Evan talking about this, um, she was saying things like, I felt like I was going to die every day. He was having sex with me and I felt like I was going to die. Okay. So if she felt like she was going to die in 2008 or nine. Then she can't say, 
in this, you know, like she went on TV saying that she forgot, you know, she blacked out her, her memory, which is something that it does happen when people have drama. This, this, this does happen. I know people that don't remember five years of their life because what happened to them is so fucked up and dark. This is not ever, ever a weird case. But she went and said that she doesn't, she didn't remember until now, until 2018. But then on her first declaration, she said, I felt like I was going to die every day. So you do remember. So you were feeling that you were going to die back then. So you can't really say. And it's the same with Esme Bianco and with Chloe Black. All these women saying, I lost memory and I just remember now because I was so traumatized that I went that my memory, well, you know, I blacked out, which it does happen. I know that. But you have to prove the judge why and when to win. When did you get the memory back? So that's impossible to prove. Unless you have some type of note from a doctor or something saying that you had a brain stroke or I already said it, you know, everybody knows what I'm talking about, seizures, whatever. It does happen, and I know from my job, and I know from friends that I have, that it does happen. People that got abused, especially in childhood, they have like a chunk of like a decades or whatever, they don't remember what the hell happened to them. So I know it's real. In this case, it is not, okay? Period. So I'm going to go a little bit on Esme. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to make some tea, and then I'm going to come back. So I don't want to sit here for two hours. It's not, I want, who's watching? I want to I wanna say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so I don't feel like completely alone here. Tammy, is it you? Johnny? That's like the names I remember. I can't have a lot of viewers ever. And I, uh, I'm not going to say I'm sorry, but I'm kind of apologize for disappearing. But it was because I got the bug. The famous COVID, and I was not able to sit here and talk. I was not able to sit. I was going from the couch to the bed. It was awful in the bathroom. It was awful. So now that I am better, I feel like um, just getting control, kind of like just coming here to chat and hang out for a little bit. Great. I spill it on my shirt. I'm just going to turn a weird. Hey, who are you? Red? Who's red? Oh, my God. Are you a bot? Are you a porn guy? So I'm going to block you. Love blocking people. Bye. I know what the fuck. Why I get these things? I'm not, like, getting naked or anything. Okay, I'm not going to report. I'm just going to remove you. Bye. I was a bot. Simple as that. We recognize them already. Uh, yeah, you deleted and you blocked. So if you watch another time, just know that, that you are because you were just spamming my thing. And I don't appreciate that. Okay. So Esme Bianco it was suing not only Marilyn Manson, but also Cula Management. Okay. And then management, Marilyn Manson Management dropped Manson. So there's nothing really to file against anymore so she is being really ridiculous and silly about that so um we're not gonna read this whole thing about who she is and how we're not gonna read it she's an actress that lives in england or no. oh let's remember that she left her husband let's remember that um <laughs> when she said she was being human trafficked by Manson, and all it was is him calling her up and say, hey, I got a job for you. You would like to come. I like your work. I think you're cute or cool or whatever. We'd like to come to LA to work. And then she said, yes, I'm going. That's all that happened. There was no trafficking on that sense. And that's going to be very easy to prove through emails or text messages or whatever. She was excited to come here. She was. She was. Um, there's also an interview. I had it on my YouTube. I'm going to put a link um, um, below. It's a couple minutes interview um, that she's talking to a journalist or whatever you want to call it about how excited she is about moving to America. And I, I found that and I was watching it with such a disgust. I was like, okay, well, it doesn't look like you are too upset or you've been trafficked in any way. I got to stop saying that T word because I'm going to drop. The live is going to drop. Okay. 
you say that. So there's a couple of interviews of Esme um, showing excitement, how content she was, and how she was looking forward to live in California and work. So, you know, that kind of debunks the whole idea of her being you know, trafficked uh, illegally and by force and unpaid labor and all that, which I do think, again, that the unpaid labor was just her in his, in his apartment making coffee for him once in a while. Like, really, just like any other girlfriend will do. That's unpaid labor. Um, Poopy-doo, poor Esme. Such a victim. Professional victims. That's what we get here. We got professional victims that have been doing this victimhood for more than a year. So at this point, they're just getting high out of it. That's what I would say. They're getting off. That's why this whole thing is very hard to stop because they're getting so much attention, so much money and opportunities and jobs just for that. You know, covers of People's Magazines, The View, you know, almost TV shows, as, you know. So this train of lie, lies, pathological lying, isn't going to be hard to stop. But I do have faith, if you want to call it that, I do have faith that it's going to be stopped. It might take all the way until 2023, but it's going to be stopped. When you know the truth, you know the truth. It's really hard to get this out. It's giving me a headache. Oh, my nails are going to break. Anyway, so Esme um, filed a civil suit on uh, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, unpaid labor, and human trafficking. She's the one that accused him of more things than anybody else, okay? Um, and 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 she's the one, the one, the one that I think is the easiest to prove that she's full of shit. Thinking that she was a fetish model, which is I'm not judging, nothing wrong with fetish models, but she was doing that job in England. She was doing like stuff that is not just. I, I know people that have done that. And it's not just like being tied up and being the damsel in distress and, and more or less the stuff that Dita used to be, used to do, or she still does. It's more. The pictures I've seen of her is like she's in a pot of blood, fake blood, of course, and, and pretending to drink blood and, and, and being and having pins on her, you know, here and whatever. It, it's more, um, I will say, masochism than just regular damsel in distress bondage. So for her to say that she was fainting when he was whipping her, allegedly, or when he was showing her a horrible porn or a horrible movie, that she fainted just by watching it. When we think about her doing those jobs in England where she was swimming in puddles of blood and pretending to be a vampire, uh, it's hard for me to believe. Also, somebody who worked in Game of Thrones, which is probably one of the most violent TV shows of all time, yeah, for sure, it is. For her to say that she was nauseous and dizzy when Manster was watching movies with her, I let's pretend this happened. I don't think it did. But if it did, for her to say that she fainted because what he showed to her was so horrible, I don't believe that for a second. Okay, so it's pretty much I'm just, just saying it instead of just reading the whole damn thing. But... This is like the nuggets of it, okay? So, okay. As maybe Uncle was introduced to Warner, which is gonna say Manson, okay? In 2005, that is strange. All oh, through the fiance, Dita Montes, okay? Because she knew Dita, because Dita and Bianco were both less dancers, even if Bianco just a poor excuse of a wannabe of Dita. But Dita introduced Manson and Esme in 2005, a long time ago. So after Manson divorced Dita in 2007, he made his first sexual over overtures towards Ms. Bianco. He asked her for new photographs on multiple occasions through email, each time playing the request of as a joke or a future job. He again made references to a potential film project in 2007, this time on by Esme Bianco, pretty much Manson telling her, like, I got a job for you, I got this project, it's really cool, come over and just do it with me and stuff, and, and we can just do all this, we can create art. This is what she said, that she was brought here on false pretense of labor. No, that's the first thing that it can be debunked really, really easy. So, 
And this whole time, from 2005 and 2009, somehow she divorced her husband, which nobody talks about that. I and mean, there's not a lot of information on the guy. All I know is that he's a music producer and they're pretty not in good terms. I, I'm nobody to judge about divorce or cheating or changing, you know, moving. Just I, I, I'm not judging that, but she never mentions anything. She mentions everything that he did bad, you know, or, or out of the ordinary, but she never mentions that she divorced her own husband when she left her own country to come here and hang out with Manson. Because that's exactly what she did. She was not, Game of Thrones is not shot in California. So the only reason she came here was for Manson. Not traffic, okay? By choice. Because that's what you do when you have a boyfriend long distance. You're like, okay, well, eventually you're going to move with him. That's kind of the way I saw it back then and the way I still see it. And the way a lot of us see it. Pretty much all of us think that she is full of it. So in 2009... Manson flew as me to Los Angeles for the first time, allegedly to work in a film music or music video for the song, I Want to Kill You Like They Do in the Movies. And when that was a song, this is a song that it was out from the high and on the low. And he wanted to make a video with her. I don't know why he was picking her or choosing her, but that's just on him. And uh, whatever situation he was living, he was going through a lot of shit. So I, I'm not surprised that he kind of, I don't know where to pick somebody that he liked. Uh, Want to Kill Like They Do in the Movies is a song. And um, I like it. I don't like that song so much. I don't like that record a lot. I'm sorry. Um, um, I felt like he was, anyway, I'm not going to just criticize his music. He's amazing. But that record was, was really strange. Um, the first record after Evan Richard Wood and Mason break up, and he was not in a good place at all. And I think this is why this lady should take advantage of that, because he was not in a good place. And probably he doesn't remember a lot of this stuff. And I think this is why they're taking advantage of that. So um, I Want to Kill Like Doing the Movies is a real song, and it was going to be a real video. As much as she's saying that it didn't exist, I do believe that it existed. I do. Upon arrival, Esme found that there was no crew present for this video, and she was expected that, okay? Through the, but then he said, we're just gonna do this homemade type of style video that I'm gonna shoot you, you're just gonna act on it. And it's gonna be about nine minutes, which the song is only like three minutes and a half. So she already was sus suspicious that something was up, allegedly, okay? Through the shoot, Esme was expected to be on call 24-7. As a result, was subjected to sleep deprivation, cons you know, consuming um, cocaine. We know that, that supposedly she did. She was doing by force. She was told to wear lingerie and high heels at her costume for the video 24-7. She was not provided food during the four days she spent in Los Angeles, and she was given drugs and alcohol to stay awake. I don't think alcohol keeps you awake, but okay. In addition to these depri deprivations, Esme Bianco was a physically threat and beaten and whipped by Warner repeatedly. Again, you're not specifying anything. You're saying repeatedly, just by repetition. Sometimes, several times, many times. Like you know, you're not giving a number. You're not. Um, you're not, and that's really sus. Using the word that my kids use all the time. That's sus. Ask me, you're sus. Um, by you're saying many times, um, uh, in many occasions, it's really not clear and it just makes you look like a fucking liar. If I was typing this or if I was to take anybody to court for anything, even for a family law situation, I, I, I will try to figure out a number, even, even if it's not really true. Okay, you shouldn't lie, but not to say many times or most of the time because that just that makes you look like you have no idea what you're talking about or that you have per memory problems okay so that that's like first four items is already just bad um so he attempted to force her to perform sexual acts on camera with another woman i do believe that this woman that she's talking about is evan roger wood pop, pop, pop. I do believe that, but I don't believe that they were forced to do anything. I believe they were doing it because they wanted to do it. Because 
Evan was actually making a video with him around 2009. So I think they were both in the video. That's kind of my theory. And I don't think they were forced to perform anything. I think they were having a good old time doing coke and making a video. As we know, Evan is bisexual. So I'm not so surprised if she was part of the video as well. Miss Bianco and the bedroom tied up. Well, oh, tie her. Okay, so he tied her to the prayer, Nilo prayer, which is something that you use in church. Um, I'm not surprised that he would have something like that because he always collects like cool things and vintage stuff. And so she's saying that she was kneeling there for hours, okay, in the piece of wood, and she was getting beat allegedly with a whip. Then Manson said it was utilized by the Nazis. He also electrocuted her. This is something that I don't know how the fuck she's going to prove. And also, I don't know how he's going to prove that it didn't happen. Um, electrocution. I don't know. Um, the way I think about it is maybe he did a, a little bit of these things. She was aware of it. She is well known for being into bondage and masochism. And the electrocution was probably this famous violet one that Everett Wood talks about, which is something that you can buy at any erotic sexual um, store, like in Hollywood, okay? They have one in West Hollywood right there, like Hustler type of shop. Then what it does is a little bit of a tickling thing that you might just get from an electric racer, okay? It's not more than that. You're not electrocuted. And I think if he played with any of that, it was something very silly like that. And uh, kind of something that anybody would use. It's very, it is very vanilla to use that. Um, as we prove, and I showed my on, on our video a long time ago, about a year ago, that the violet one is something that it might just give you a tickle while you're having sex or while you're just playing around or whatever. And uh, it's not electrocution. It's not real electricity, okay? Just a battery. It's a one for the battery that might just give you a tickle. It might arouse you some type of guy, turn you off, but it's not um, violent electrocution. Not at all. It's just, it runs on a battery, ask me. Come on now. So she's saying from February to May 2009, Manson assured asked me that the video was being edited, the music video. Okay, he blamed others for the disruptions and uh, and the, just the slackiness. So she, he was blaming everybody else. Okay, um, of the video shooting, convinced asked me that he was simply eccentric and his art was misunderstood. Right, in May 2009. Manson visit Bianco in London and they begin. That's just that's the part that is really weird. In, in May 2009, he was still with Evan and he was kind of starting his relationship with Lindsay after that. So I don't know how the fuck Esme is like she fits in all this. The timeline is completely just wrong, at least for what we've seen in paparazzi videos and pictures of him with Lindsay and. Uh, Manson with her as well, and it it doesn't add up at all. But maybe that was a mistake on the filing. Maybe the lawyer made a mistake. Let's just give it the benefit of some type of doubt. This woman, uh, May two thousand nine, doesn't seem like it's adding up. I already mentioned that. Uh, so he went to visit her in London. Okay, through all this time, while well, they were having sex between, blah, 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 and it was consensual. The sex was consensual in 2009, May 2009. Um, Manson Bruce and bit Bianco and publicly grabbed her against her consent, like he was touching her when they were at the club, whatever, against her consent. I don't buy that for a second. He enforced a dress code for Bianco during this trip and forced her to sit at his feet during press conferences. No. He barely degrade her during interviews in front of all the people from the industry. He also attempted to bring a minor back to the hotel with him and Esme. That is something that is super messed up. And if she's just accusing him of that, she better have some type of something to prove some type of something. So that's just messed up. 
um, allegedly, allegedly she's saying that he brought up a minor. She's not saying the name of the person or the age of the minor. She's just like being very vague, elusive about it because that's what law, you know, liars do, lawyers, lawyers and liars. After this visit, Esme and Mason maintained a long distance relationship for several years. That's bullshit. It was not several years. How this guy managed to be with Evan, Chloe Black, Ashley Morgan, Esme, and then Lindsay, his, his present wife. How? How? Like, I don't see it. There's not enough time of the day. I mean, there's not, you know, it, it's not, I think of the maximum, they were together for maybe six months. That's kind of what I believe. And a lot of us believe the same thing. Three years? No. No. He was married, and then after Tita, he went straight up to Evan, homebreaker, you know. And then after Evan, he was kind of uh, with Bianco, with other people, but it, it was not three years in the middle. There is no, there's no, and again, the timeline is wrong. We've seen paparazzi videos of him with other people during that time. So it's not possible. My opinion is that it's not possible. In April 2011, Mason convinced Bianco to move to Los Angeles to live with him while he was helping her secure the visa, immigration status, right, and launch her career in the United States, which it was totally up to her and her choice to move here to work, not his. Again, I keep saying this guy, as powerful that we can think that he is, he's not as powerful to just... If, you know, go to immigration or call them up and say, you know, don't give this lady a visa, or whatever, and just like, hustle immigration. There's, there's no way. Um, you gotta be some type of agent to do that. And he's not Scarface or <laughs> the Godfather. I don't know. So I think that's a big lie for her to say that he was messing with her visa and her immigration status and kind of playing mind games with her, which is what she accused him of. Um, again, April 2011 makes no sense. I've seen pictures of him during that time, with, now with her, with all the people. Um, so, down here on the street. So, makes no sense. I can't believe that she wasn't even able to get the timeline straight, you know? And if you're going to lie because you've been lying this whole time, at least just do it right. <laughs> At least, you know, get a notebook and just look it up and look at the timeline and be like, no, well, there's no way I was with him because he was with Chloe Black or with Lizzie or still with Evan or with Ashley or the other ones. There's no way that I had a relationship for three years with this man. There's no way. So um, she's even lying on the little details. Hey, Josh. Hey. Oh, thank you. Completely valid. Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, she is, she's just, she's straight up. It's very easy to spot all these mistakes that she's been making. So I, I thank you for saying that it's valid. I think any of us um, can agree that she's full of it. Um, justice for Manson. That's right, man. Justice for Manson. Um, like I said, eventually I think there will be justice. I'm not up on the clouds saying it's going to happen soon. I don't believe it's going to happen soon because Johnny is still on a fight with Amber after three years. So I think this is going to work and it's going to be, there's going to be justice served, but I think it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, and if I think like that, then, you know, I won't be so disappointed. Um, but I think that, I feel like the type of person that he is, I don't think he's going to sue them for defamation. What do you think? Um, I don't see him doing that. Um, things happened to him before, Columbine, and he was blamed for a lot of things. And he didn't really sue anybody for defamation. All right. I'm going to block you again. Not you, Josh, but the other person, because you are a Porn, but so bite, remove. I love doing that. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't want people in my chat just like send, get leaving links of like just 
just spam. Anyway, so what do you think? You wanna you wanna say something about the whole Esme Bianco situation? I usually talk about Evan. She's my favorite subject. Uh, she's so complex and so insane. But I'm talking about Esme tonight. And if you're there, we can chat a little bit. That's what I like doing this lives, even if it messes up on my internet. And you know, I was curious, there's a couple of words that I say and that I said before, as uh, the N word, for example, um, N word refers to certain German group of people, okay? Uh, N, A, Z, you know, Z, E. And every time I say that word, the whole thing drops. So I'm gonna try really hard not to say it. Sorry, Evan did say that we were a bunch of N and we were pedophiles, us, and we were Satanists. Even if we are some of those things, um, you know, what is it to her? What, what, what is she, what, 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 where she gets this information from, you know? That's defamation right there. We can actually sue her for saying that. Are you still watching? I am. Can you please let me know if this is if this is working? Because I feel like it's working for the spammers, the bots. These people leaving links for like porn and stuff. It's like, dude, like look, like who's? Okay, I think you're still watching. I hope you are. I will make a video later, and I will read the filing more just you know through. Um, it's super boring. I happen to like reading um, those type of filings. I I, I work um, it, I work in the court all the time. I mean, I read so much stuff uh, on the daily that to me it's not so tedious to read through it, and it's so funny because it's so full of stuff and you know and and lies and discrepancies and just silly shit. So it's kind of funny to read through it to tell you the truth. So if you want to read something with me or if there's something that you want, like um, a document or something, I'd be glad to send it to anybody. These are very easy to get. All you got to do is go to lacourt.org, not com, org, and seriously just type Bianco versus Warner and you get it. It's that easy. Again, because it's not a criminal. you know, It's not OJ Simpson or something. So anybody has access to it. So anybody can read it. Which makes things easier for us to just... I'm not trying to make fun of her. Like, I don't try... On my videos, I don't talk about the way she looks. I don't talk about the way she talks, about her accent, about where she's coming from, about her hair. I try to just keep it on of her actions and how lame she is. Because even if she was the most gorgeous person in the world, and if she was a good actress or whatever, I will still sit here and say that she sucks. So I'm not going to criticize her looks. Um, I won't do that to any women. And um, it's not worth it. Because it doesn't matter how she looks like. Just the fact that she's such a liar, it makes makes her look ugly. And it makes her be, you know, she's an ugly person. Inside and out. So that's kind of why I don't go for all the all the people make fun of her or it really doesn't matter how she looks like uh, it matters what she does and she is being awful probably the second worst on the list of the the witches the coven of witches and liars first evan richard weird and then second is her um because the human trafficking is something that you know just going on that knowing that in California, there's a lot of that because we're next to Mexico and people are coming from Canada and from Mexico. And there's a lot of real stories of women that have been human trafficked. The majority of human traffic happen when you are between, it's horrible. I don't like saying this, but it's, it's, it's life, okay, it happens. Between 12 years old and 25 or whatever. Nobody is human trafficking. Uh, a person from England to Los Angeles on her almost 40s. 
you know, it, that's what it's just going to be impossible. 99% per, impossible for her to prove that she was trafficked. Okay? We know that. I hope you're still watching and maybe you can chat or just ask anything you want. But I love that you were watching. If you still are or you were, thank you so much. Uh, my points of view arguments are completely valid. Yeah, you know, it's easy to see through this this pathological liars. And I don't want to sit here and throw diagnosis at them, even if I can, because I know. <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Like I said, they can be borderline narcissistic. You know, they can have whatever, um, just pathological liars. They can be pretty or ugly. And I will still think the same about these people. There are just, uh, uh, this is a big conspiracy. It, that's what it is. It's always been like that from the beginning. I used to believe Amber Heard, as much as I hate to say it, it's embarrassing. When this whole thing came up with Amber and Johnny, I believed Amber for like a couple months. So I was like, shoot. This sounds like this stuff happens between husband and wife. And then I realized it was all BS and stuff researching. But with Manson and these ladies, I never believed them. I thought from the beginning that it was so political and there's such a liberal agenda. Um, and yeah, I can get political on that even if I am a liberal. I'm not, I am. Um, there's a, a little, there's a lot of a dirty liberal agenda behind Edgar Roger Wood. And there, and there is. There's no nobody can deny. Not even her. And I don't know if you guys know about the documentary that she's going to present in Sundance and the festival, the same festival that Harvey Weinstein abused people. Because I do believe he's guilty. It's really weird that Evan is choosing that festival to do this. But anyway, um, we know about it. That this thing came out um, on the. Not the newspapers. I'm so old. The newspapers. On the internet about a week ago, how she's going to present this documentary. It's going to be super biased um, from her point of view and her alleged uh, abuse that she suffered on the hands of this monster. So I will watch it probably. I'm going to try to download it. I don't want to pay for it. I will watch it um, just so I can criticize it. But I can't believe that she has so many supporters. I think she has more supporters than Amber Heard. Talking about Evan. I do think so. She has LGBT community that loves her. She has people my age that loves her, straight, gay, bi, and a lot of support. And a lot of people in the industry still believe Evan. And um, that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, because she has so much support. And like I'm saying, there's a liberal agenda behind it. It's political. This is not about sex. It's not about kink. It's not about trafficking. It's not about making a difference for women. This is this is political. And um, from the beginning, since 2018, I saw through her BS right away. I think all of us did. When she sat there in Congress, to Congress and the, and the, the, the whole thing. And she talked about her abusers, plural, with an S at the end, abusers, right? And talks about how she was groomed and, and, and beat up into submission. And uh, she doesn't remember what happened, but she thought that she was gonna die every day. That's very weird to me. Like, you remember, you don't remember, girl, what's up, you know? <laughs> so I'm repeating myself right now. I don't want this to be super long. It's almost an hour. Oh, my eyes look blue for some reason. They're not. They just look like that. Um, this is about an hour, so I'm gonna come back and read the rest of Ask Me, kind of just for the fun of it, even if we all know what she's about. And um, that's all we're gonna do, okay? And it's what is it? Monday night. I'm working tomorrow night, all night which is what I do, uh, but during the day, waste time, I can just sit here and just talk about this thing because it, it's still, even if it's all news, it's still so interesting to me to just kind of like try, I'm never going to understand these people. I'm not going to understand them, but it's gonna, I won't say fun, but it's gonna interesting to just still 
try to get on the try to try to get to the to the nugget of it and uh, show somehow to him or to whoever that we are on it and that we know that is BS. And um, like I said, I'm just gonna add it to the description either now or in the next video. If anybody feels like going to the courthouse, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. Um, I said May. I don't think Manson will be there. Tony, Tony Depp didn't get justice. I know he didn't. I hope that he does though. Mm -hmm. I think Johnny, um, if anybody's close to Virginia, can you guys like go to Virginia? I'm really far from Virginia. I, I'm in California. I, I don't have money to go. To, I, mean, I don't have time to go to Virginia. But it would be cool for people to go there and support him. Um, I, I do think that he has, uh, Johnny has more on Amber than Manson has on Evan. Um, at least for defamation. Johnny's never going to get his $7 billion back. Uh, never. Um, or getting fired from the, the Grindelwald Harry Potter movies or Pirates of the Caribbean. He's not getting that back. But he needs to, I think he will clean his name eventually. Don't you think so? I, I gotta have faith on that. I gotta, I gotta think that will happen. Virginia is not. The United States is not England. So I think they were very close minded over there. I'm not trying to hate in England, from, you know, people from England, but I think they were very close minded over there. Um, and they were rushed to call him a wife beater right away without proof. The fact that I have people like you, it makes me breathe because it's so dark to see people being destroyed by lies. I know. And, and this happens to guys, they're not famous as well. Um, every day. It happens to women too, but mostly this happens to men. Do you think that he's going to be able to prove that he didn't traffic her? That's the one thing that worries me about the whole thing. Because that is a, that, 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 that is a 27 years of jail. Just for that. Um, the whole thing, the, the sexual abuse, the verbal abuse, and the emotional abuse is going to be really easy to debunk and to say that it's fake. But when it comes to the trafficking, I don't know. And did you watch the little interview of Esme um, talking to a journalist saying how happy she is to be in the States and she's ready to work in Hollywood and how happy she is to be here? I have it somewhere. I have it. It's a couple minutes. That's all we need to we need to show that in court, you know, and be like, well, she was saying she was happy to be here. Um, you know, that's not people don't get trafficked at 37 years old from England. I don't think so. I am really I'm just 99.9% .9 sure that that didn't happen or 100% sure that that didn't happen. Thanks for watching, Josh. Josh Dark. What are you? Where are you from? Where are you at right now? And what time is it? I love to ask people what time is it. Is about what time is it here? I'm on the West Coast, and it's 9:30 p.m. Sorry, I'm so gross. I'm drinking my tea. Um, because you know. Um, we know what's up. I feel like there's way less people on Manson's side than it is on Johnny's. And I feel like Manson is more canceled than Johnny. I don't know if you agree with me. Brazil. Cool. So it's probably morning time in Brazil. That's what I'm thinking. It's a big Manson family in Brazil. I know that much. They're, they're, they're really cool. They really support him. When was last time the Manson was in Brazil? Do you know? But you probably you probably know. I, I don't remember um, if he did an international tour um, for the White Emperor. What what, what he did? Um, I know that he loves it there, and anybody, any artist loves Brazil and Argentina and Colombia and all that because. 
man, you guys are just amazing. Here, people are kind of dead. That's the truth. Um, and it's scary uh, in LA because a lot of people believe Evan. You know, and that's what she's still she's still working on HBO and stuff. If people thought she was a liar, she would not have a job. Who else is watching? Hopefully, it's not a spam. I got to um, remove a couple people. Two thirty a.m. Okay, it's not that bad. Well, thank you for staying awake. <laughs> You know, I can always like hang out and email or you know, just go live with somebody else. That that would be cool. I'm game for that. Um I, I didn't do none of that because I got very sick. I got the COVID and I got sick. I usually try not to talk about myself here. See, that's the difference between somebody like me and somebody like Evan. Look, I don't like to bring negative attention to myself. Like, make people feel bad because I was sick or because of this or because of job problems. Like, I feel like these people, Evan, Esme, and all those people, they just get off. You know, like, they get turned on. You know what I'm trying to say? And and it's a high um, to make people feel bad. Sorry for you. And once you're a victim, you have green light to do whatever you want, um, at least in this country and first in this state. Um, it's hard for people to believe in court. Look what happened to Britney Spears. It took her 13 years. Judges usually don't care who you are uh, when it comes to fame. So I hope that he can... Oh, Lisa. Yes, they are pushing the narrative. It's a very liberal agenda. Um, I'm not a Republican. I vote liberal. But I don't like those type of people. This is a very liberal agenda, and there's it's politics, man. Especially with Evan Rachel Wood, it's Hollywood politics. She has LGBT community on her side. Video chat is late. Oh, is it? I hear you, and he says my replies a minute later. Oh, how late is it? Do I set it up to be late like that? All right, now there's a spam, you guys. Should I remove this person? Do you guys see it? Who the hell is going to put a link to porn on my thing? I'm going to look who can make what. I'm going to remove this person. Bye. No, not you, Josh. Uh, this person, whoever. Block. I don't got time for this bullshit. Okay. Um, I'm sorry that the chat is late because my connection is messed up, or you think that I set it up late. Maybe I did. I'm so sorry. That's what I'm saying, that I can always email and hang out and, you know, talk like that and just chat. Um, who was that person? It's removed and blocked. So hopefully it's not a real person. I think it was spam. 2.30 in Brazil. What time is it? Uh, where are you, Lisa? Lisa or Lisa? Probably Lisa. Lisa G. Are you in Brazil as well? That would be trippy. <laughs> um. Yeah, this whole spam is just it's ridiculous. I mean, why why do you do that? Like I'm like go do it in a channel with a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people or I don't know. So what about I come back later, ask tomorrow, and we read the rest of the stuff and also we read the second filing, which is the dismissal, because she's been dismissed. It's me, not Chloe Black. I don't trust her. I have a big problem with that lady. I don't trust any of them. But Chloe Black is the one that told the judge that she needs more time to figure it out. That when her memory, when her memory stopped working, and how her memory got back on her head. I mean, I know about this stuff, and I know it's BS. Um, so Chloe Black hasn't been dismissed. Esme is dismissed on the accounts of abuse, physical, verbal, emotionally, but she is not, she hasn't been dismissed on the traffic, trafficking. And that kind of, that doesn't worry me that much, but I, I, I hope that he can 
just you know come out with some type of email from her or text messages that show that she was excited to come here and it was her choice and she put her her butt on the plane and came here by choice because i'm telling you people don't get people to get traffic from england at 32 years old i don't i don't like talking about that like it's a joke because i know it's a real problem but at the same time she's making it a joke you know minutes later how many minutes later uh, that's lame. I thought I was getting there right away. Mm. Having you light, so I'm just kind of like, I want to come here and now that I don't have a fever anymore <laughs> and talk for a little bit. Um, let's just let's chat tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. My tea, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so gross. Um, Josh and Lisa and somebody else, but it's probably the spammer that is linking the porn. Brazil information about Johnny Manson was meant to defend, destroy, and rely on vehicles like yours for a reliable source. So I say that I'm truly very grateful. Oh, so oh, you welcome, honey. You welcome. So in Brazil, and I remember all the countries in South America, there are believing the women, hardcore. Is that what you're saying? Oh my God. They're just brainwashing people left and right. It is very, it is, it's a problem. Well, but you know, um, all right, you're gonna get blocked, whoever this is. Hi. I love locking people. Remove. Not you, Josh, but whoever was there. I'm like, dude, like you put in links of porn on my chat. Who keeps the fuck? I removed them and block it because I don't want it just like to slow things down. So in Brazil, you're saying that people are supporting Ember and Evan and all that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, who controls the news? You know, even in America, I don't think it's so much difference. Here, people are brainwashed left and right. Um, Amber Heard was believed, I believe Amber Heard, I hate to say it, for about two months. <laughs> for about two months, I believe her. Um, because, you know, domestic violence does happen. So I was like, oh, she's a woman. I, don't know, I believe her. Like I said, for about two months, and then I started watching videos and reading. I was like, oh, this makes no sense. But we tend to believe women um, in Brazil and here as well. It's just fucked up. It's messed up. Excuse my French. So let's just read the rest of the items from Esme Bianco tomorrow. Um, I'll come home. I'll, I'll come here and read it and. Um, you all can watch it later. Is that all right? I don't want to leave. It, but I feel bad about leaving right now, but um, if it's way past an hour, like people just don't watch it, which just sucks. I should make a video, a regular video, but I like making this because you know, we get to talk. It's just more fun. So Josh and Lisa, and I think there was somebody else, but I can, I didn't get the name. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, I will come back. Have a good night. Make good choices. Don't lie, especially in court. Because I'm telling you, it's gonna come back to bite them in the ass. Um, you know, defamation, you get 27, you get seven years in prison for defamation here. It don't matter who are you, but who, you know, if you work in, in the TV or not, you get seven years or a big fine, which Evan is probably going to be able to pay. It's no joke to get um, a defamation charge. 
Thank you. I'm just going to type it just in case. See you. Sorry, I can't. My nails, I can't type. Uh, soon. Yeah, what do you think about the documentary that Every Road Trip Boy is going to show in festival this summer? My gosh, I can't believe this woman. Not only she's, she went on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, now she has a documentary about her horrible time with the monster Manson. Okay, so I'm just typing that there uh, in case that it's delayed. So you can read it, Josh. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, please. But I'm sure you are. Because you're cool. And uh, big shout out to Brazil. I actually have some family, not in Brazil, but I have some family in Argentina. Um, they're Italian, but they live in Argentina. So you, you know that happens. So I have some family there. Um, and I actually went to Brazil when I was 12 years old. So I don't remember much. I would like to go again. And I stayed in Rio somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was in Brazil. Uh, defamation on the careers of women and men, rich journalists. Yeah, I think the journalists are the ones that are making money out of this, but also the victims are making money out of it in publicity and TV shows and documentaries and here we are sitting here trying to just do something you know and and like i started doing this uh, about 10 months ago i didn't jump on the train now <laughs> but 10 months ago and, and and you know i left because i got sick but i'm not gonna stop i'm not stopping as long as this woman keep throwing charges at him we are going to be here talking about it. I think that is the right um, approach. Even if there's no news, we can just be here refreshing our memories and just reading this. If it's not just for information, just for fun, because it's ridiculous. Okay, so the next item I'm going to read is going to be tomorrow, um, and it's a trafficking, the human traffic items, which is really disturbing what she's accusing him of. I'm telling you, nobody gets trafficked from England at 25, 20, at 30 years old. Nobody. Yeah, we're very unlucky if that happens. So, good night. I'm going to say bye. So, it's not um, just to get to pass an hour, 15, hour, 12 minutes. So, thank you for watching, and um, I hope I look okay. <laughs> I'm very overheated. Just have it heated on. It's cold. And I'll be back just, you know, to chat some more. And, and if there's anything you want me to talk about or to know or that you don't know, just ask me, okay? Oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. For reals, um, this is something that it has to be done. We got to talk about this. We got we to gotta tell people about it. And you don't have to be a Manson fan. I mean, I, I like Manson music but um people need to know you know just people in general your, your friends your family you, keep, uh, you know it depends what type of conversation you can have with your friends or with your family but people need to know what's going on here and how this is it's dirty it's politics it's corrupted you know you know it i know it so good night i'll see you later tomorrow if you feel like it tomorrow is a i'm working tomorrow night but i can i can get here in the evening and hang out thank you so much and um, i appreciate it see you later